Hi everyone, this is the second video in the Architecture 215 CAD video series, or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is what, uh, what I kind of expect for next class. So this is going to be your floor plan for the Shaw House, we call it. Uh, first few things I'll show you is how to, how to move with your roller ball. You move in and out just by rolling it, so that's just zoom in and out. If you push down on your roller ball and hold it, that will be your pan command. And if you double click on the roller ball, it'll be zoom extents. So again, rolling in and out. Holding it is pan, and double clicking the ball is um, zoom extents. First thing I want to touch on is down here at the bottom left, make sure your polar tracking button is blue. Make, if that one's blue, that means it's turned on and we can draw straight lines. Uh, also make sure your O snap is turned on and then we'll be able to snap to some of these points. Uh, with regard to O snap, let's set up our O snap so that, they're same, so that they are the same. So let's type in O snap. Make sure your endpoint, midpoint, and intersection are all checked off. That's what I want to be checked off for now. And then just hit OK, and now we'll have all the, all the same stuff for our O snaps. First thing I want to show you is a line command, which we've done a little bit already. If I go left click on the line, I can go anywhere in the drawing and left click to start my line. Since my polar is on, I can pull it, I can pull it so that it's straight, and then I can type in a distance. So uh, I want to put the mouse in the, in, the, uh, in the direction that I want this line to go. And then I can type in my distance. It's ready for a it's ready for a distance. I can type in 44 feet. Now I want this line to go down. I think that distance is 24 foot six. I can just hit enter. Again, I can move it to the left and type in 44 feet, and that's right there. And then I can just go and use my endpoint and left click to snap on that. This line has stayed active because I've never hit enter or the right key, the right click. So this line is still active. If I just hit enter, then that's gonna finish my line command. All the commands will stay active until you hit enter or escape. Next thing I want to do is use the offset. So the offset is over here and I'm going to offset some of these lines a little, uh, a certain distance. If I select offset, now it's saying specify the distance. I want six inches, so I type in six and then I go select the line that I want to offset and then move to the direction that I want to offset it to. I want to move it this way so it'll come like that. Again, I haven't hit enter yet, so this command is still active. I'm going to select this line and move it this way, that one this way, and that line this way. Now I'm finished with all my lines, so I just hit right click and then hit enter. You can also hit escape, spacebar, or the enter key. Next thing I want to teach you is the trim command. Now with the trim command, I can go select the two lines that are intersecting. I go left click on both of those, and then I hit right click. So I'm done selecting the lines, that's why I now right click, and now it's saying select the objects you want to trim. Well, I want to trim that, and I want to trim that. I'm finished trimming both of those, so I can just hit enter. Uh, same thing down here. Let's let's go hit select trim. This time I'll use the window, and with the green box, the green dash box, it selects everything that it touches. Uh, I'll hit enter to deselect that, or to finish the, the command of selecting objects. Now it just says select what you want to trim. I want to trim that and that. And then I say I'm finito, done with that. Next thing I want to teach you is extend. So if I have a couple lines, extend acts sort of the opposite of the trim command. So I'm just going to draw a couple of dumb lines here. Uh, if I want to use the extend command, I'll go over and select extend. Again, I'll maybe use this green box in the dash line to select both at the same time. And then I'm done selecting my object, so I hit enter. And then that's when I go to the end of this object and say, hey, I want to extend this line to that one. If I go to click near the end of that, it should work out, and then I, again I hit enter because I'm done. Uh, I don't really want those lines there, so I'm going to hit erase. Go over and select erase, use the window, select both objects, all done selecting objects, command is over. The last thing I want to teach you today is the distance command. Uh, we don't have the icon up on the screen, so we have to type in distance or just DI for short. Go in and left click on uh, one of these endpoints. When the square pops up, that means it's the endpoint. If the triangle pops up, that means it's the midpoint. The intersection looks like an X. That means uh, that I've selected an intersection. So those are the three kind of O snaps that we have. Endpoint is fine with me. I'm gonna select that endpoint, go to that endpoint. That's 44 feet. And uh, that is the distance I want. I'm gonna repeat that command again. So I can just, uh, if I right click, this will pop up. I wanna repeat the distance. So I go from that corner to that corner, 24 foot six. Again, if you want to repeat the last command you just used, hit the right click and it should pop up on top of that little menu that pops up there. Again, that one there is like 44 feet. 
looks good to me. Um, good luck with this. Hopefully it all works out and I'll see you in class.